Kelly Goncharova and today I'm reviewing Happy Go Lucky by Kristen Earhart. This is a childhood favorite of mine and I remember laughing along to it every night before I went to bed. There's an entire series and I couldn't wait to read the next book. It was super funny, engaging, and I just loved it all the way through and I'd love to share that with you. It's about 96 pages and for ages 6 and over. And the rating level is a 3.9 if you're looking to take an AR test on it. So this book is about Happy Go Lucky, who like many of you, has to move to a new place and figure out this new experience. So he moves away from his mom in the Shoemaker Stables over to Big Apple Farm. And there he meets a lot of new people, a lot of new riders, and Overall, everything is new to him, and he doesn't really know how to navigate that. Happy-go-lucky is a horse who is, according to his name, happy-go-lucky. But when he gets there, he's so scared and sad, and he misses his mom, and he doesn't know anyone. And this is something that a lot of people can relate to, like especially when you're moved to a new school or a new town, you don't really know anyone. So happy-go-lucky finds this mouse. Roscoe, who's a really charming creature, and throughout the book he helps him and gives him advice, because a lot of the different horses were trying to tear him down and lower his self-esteem. They wanted to be better than him, and Happy really didn't like that, and it kind of hurt him. So how do you think Happy will overcome this? Sometimes new things are good, but that takes a lot of work. So follow Happy on his journey and really learn how to make the best of things and maybe you will start to enjoy them. This is truly one of my favorite books and I, I hope you read it. Thank you.